Hey there, it's John Vroman of FrontRowFactor.com. Welcome to Four Minutes in the Front Row. Today I'm coming to you from my hotel room just outside of Boston where I've been speaking the last couple of days. I was asked a question earlier today from a friend about how do we move somebody who was once in the front row of our life into the second row of life. Now in case that lingo doesn't make any sense to you, let me explain. I often teach people to carefully select who's in their front row of life. We only have so many hours in the day, we only have so much attention and energy to give, and selecting the people that are closest to us in life is really important. And I will tell you that we want people in our front row that are gonna cheer for us, that are gonna challenge us, but ultimately bring out the best in us, and we can do the same for them. But saying yes to our front row often means that we have to say no to other people that become second row, third row, and beyond. Now this is just about simply asking yourself, what do you value? What are your priorities? What are you passionate about? What's your purpose in life? And then trying to align that with people in your front row. Sometimes moving somebody into the second row or third row is done by default of simply choosing your front row and selecting to give your time and energy there. You know, if somebody is in your second, third, or tenth row of life and they call you and you send them to voicemail and then you call somebody in your front row, you're just being intentional about where your time goes. What oftentimes occurs in life is that as your values might shift and change, as your priorities in life perhaps evolve, you've moved from being single to married with children, or you've moved companies, or particularly you've moved somewhere new in the, in the country here, and your life changes, your front row changes along with that. Saying no to people is tough. I never want to say no. I'm a people pleaser. I want to say yes to everyone. I want to answer every email, every phone call. I want to talk to everybody. I want to love on everybody. And the truth is, there's just not enough time in the day. So learning how to prioritize is key. Learning how to focus our attention. Steve Jobs once said that focus is all about saying no. It's about not answering the call. It's about not scheduling the appointment. As life changes, sometimes moving somebody into the second row of life is about saying, hey, I know we used to do that dinner all the time and I really wanna do that dinner, but right now I just can't do that. How about we get together for coffee? You know, sometimes it's about making those decisions. You can still let people know that, man, I really wanna go do that dinner with you, but I'll tell you, I've made a commitment to being at home with my children. I just don't do that now. I would love to do coffee though sometime. Or you might even say, listen, based on my priorities with my family, I can't do coffee like we used to, but I'd love to get a quick minute on the phone to just catch up. Sometimes in seasons of my life, I'll let my entire community know, like, hey everybody, I'm writing a book right now that's coming out in December. It's taking everything I've got, so if you don't hear from me, if, if I don't reach out like I normally do, if I don't get back to your emails as quickly, I want you to know it's not personal. I'm just in the season of my life right now, and uh, I just am fully committed to making this book awesome for the world. And please forgive me, and I promise we'll connect as soon as the book is out. So sometimes moving people into the second row of life can, be ha can happen one-to-one. -one. It can happen in a mass communication. It can be part of your autoresponder. But oftentimes it's about being intentional with your time, and it's about communicating honestly with people where you are and what's going on. And sometimes it's about not communicating at all. It's just when you give your attention and love to your front row, you don't give love and attention to other people. Now, I want you to know that I don't think this is cruel. I don't think that it's, it, it's, uh, it's something that you're doing that's mean to other people because I will also tell you that if, if that person's not right for your front row, you're not right for their front row, and by you saying no to perhaps not letting them in your front row of life, you're allowing them a chance to be in somebody else's front row of life. It's like a relationship where two people are dating and one person's thinking to themselves, well, I don't want to break up with that person because they'll be devastated. And I think, I think that if you're, if, they're not, if you're not right for them, they'll be devastated if they stay with you. Now, sometimes distance between friends hurts a little bit. But if it's intentional and it's focused from a place of love and priorities and values in life, I think you can rest assured you'll always be making the right decision about who's in your front row. 
Give yourself a check-in every couple of months to ask, am I bringing people into my life that are in my front row uh, that uh, I really want to be there now or do I need to make some changes? When you put the right people in the front row, then you're living a front row life. Take care, everybody.